Hey everyone, Team UDF here for another SSBB UDF tournament. And we're still going to see if we can crown a champion to champions tonight. Sonic won the third tournament, stripping Kirby away from his... the tournament that he won, but Camtasia won't take the file because bad things happen. So Pikachu, Ganondorf, and Sonic sitting on the sidelines. Olimar finally in a tournament today as we try to decide who will be the fourth competitor in the final Champion of Champions showdown. Who will be the first Champion of Champions? We'll find out tonight. Link, last time, I finally made it to the finals of one of these freaking tournaments, but we'll see if we can do it again. Here we go. Let's yell obnoxiously and have some fun. Again, we're going to choose each match. Going to risk getting some of those weird stages, but don't care. Don't care. This time we'll have decision four. As you can see, the competitors will have to fight it out in the semi-finals match against one other person this time. Okay, we're not in the first match, but these four men are Ness, Fox, Marth, and Lucario. Let's get it started right away here on SSBB UDF. A lot of favorites coming around here, I'm sure. All these guys would love to be in Champion of Champions. Metroid game starting out in the tournament again. Here we go. Ness and Marth fighting it out there. Hopefully my voice doesn't go out before the end of this, because this, this is the third one I've had to do. The second one you guys are seeing. Marth with a beam sword! Marth with a beam sword! Go for the PK-5 and misses. No. Oh, no! Ness took the beam sword away. Marth picks it right back up. Warp Star in play. Who's going to get the Warp Star? I would think people would go for the Warp Star, but nobody seems to do... Oh, here comes Lucario. He's right by it. Come on, Lucario. Use the freaking Warp Star, man. Here he's going to use against Ness. No! Yes, actually. Ness did not manage to dodge the lava engulfing the stage. These four guys trying to not only get out of the way, but see if they can throw a couple of their opponents into it as well. No! Ness takes out Lucario. There was also another fall at the beginning there. Didn't quite see what it was. I'm not entirely sure if Ness is in the lead yet. He does, however, have a lead on the Dragoon pieces. Where are those other two pieces? The Dragoon has caused match victories before. Oh, some lava spewing there. Lucario's got another piece of the Dragoon. Ness is going to have to take that away from him. Those two went at it for a brief moment, but now they're all just kind of in the fray here. Chaos ensuing. Oh, there goes Fox, and Marth gets another point, as well as that third Dragoon piece. Will the Dragoon come into play? These guys trying to make sure nobody has two pieces of the Dragoon, but it seems... Ness lost his piece that's going to have to respawn. Oh no! Marth's piece goes out. Lucario taking out Ness. Fox has Marth's piece. The other piece hidden there in the lava falls. Nobody can get at it. Wait, here we go. Fox might have a chance. No, he's going after his enemies instead. Oh, he just picked it up. Marth accidentally knocked him into it. That is not what Marth wanted, I'm sure. Lucario has two pieces. A few seconds left. Everyone's got high damage except Ness. Who's gonna... Nobody goes out. What do we have? Everyone's sudden death! Holy crap! Oh no! Lucario managing to survive, but Ness is out! First four-way sudden death I think we've seen on screen. Fox goes out. Oh! Lucario has it. Lucario becoming a master of sudden death here. Oh man. I can't believe that. Everyone eliminated one person and went out once. That is incredible. Straight zero. But Lucario snatching it up in the first, I believe, four-way sudden death. Whew. Oh, here comes Toon Link, Meta Knight, Snake, and Bowser. Very interesting matchup here. I don't think we've seen these four guys go at it yet. Let's go ahead and see what kind of tournament we have here. Still peeved that I lost that original third tournament because I think that was the most exciting one thus far. This one better do. Oh no, Pokemon Gym, huh? Pokemon Stadium. Now we have the traditional music. Here we go. Meta Knight was kind of out of the fray there, a bit surprising. He's usually a bit more aggressive. Bowser has Snake in trouble. Snake reversing the situation though, managing to escape. Meta Knight and Link dueling swords there. Link actually won that won that exchange. Meta Knight coming after that box. That flammable box, who's going to set it off? We always know someone does. Oh, they almost did. Bowser surviving here. Not enough damage. Oh, but he might do that to himself. There he goes. He just blew up the box, and Meta Knight reaps the rewards for it. Snake had his box, his own box out, it seems. 
Man, Bowser just doing a number on Snake here, but Snake is managing to survive thus far. Banana Peel coming into play once again with all these freaking Banana Peels everywhere. Meta Knight and Bowser are exchanging points again. I think we're back to where we started now. Here comes the Wind Field. I think using that Ray Gun. Oh no, what happened? I think Snake just blasted Link. Yes, he did. Very opportunistic of Snake there. Snake's still at high damage. Trying to stay out of the way here. Bowser also in kind of bad shape, but he is large and in charge, so he's not going anywhere probably right now, especially against Toon Link. Toon Link's gonna have to do a lot of damage. Starting it with that, fi uh, that uh, Fire Flower. Bowser trying to mimic him here, but no! Snake finally goes out and Meta Knight gets the point for a final smash ball in play. It's already taken a couple of hits. Oh, it looks like Bowser's gonna have the perfect chance to get it, but no, Snake! We finally see Snake's final smash. Here we go! He's gonna start sniping with these missiles here. Using that assault rifle of his. Interesting looking gun. He takes out Meta Knight and Bowser. Toon Link trying to survive. Can he do it? He's got that beam sword. No! Snake gets him as well. And just in time for the end of the match, Snake has to have stolen this thing. There's no way he hasn't. Snake has it. Just throws that box right on Meta Knight. Yeah, that's uh, that's good clipping. Fantastic. Plus three to Meta Knight's zero. We haven't seen Meta Knight do too well yet, and he's supposed to be the top tier. Hmm. Hmm. No, I know it's for people playing and stuff, but Snake. Snake versus Lucara. That'll be an interesting one. Here we go, though, with Jigglypuff, Lucas, Ike, and Pokemon Trainer. Uh-oh. Are the Pokemon going to gang up on these guys? We'll have to find out right now. What the? <laughs> Another Pokemon Stadium? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Two in a row. And what perfect timing. We got all the Pokemon here. Pikachu must be getting homesick right about now. Wishes he could compete on this grand stage. But he has already won on the battlefield. Ike going out. Oh, uh oh. Ike in trouble. Squirtle got him. Uh oh, Star, who's gonna get it? Jigglypuff, no! Squirtle took it at the last second. I thought Jigglypuff had that for sure. Frankly, I'm not sure why he didn't. But Jigglypuff, oh no, Squirtle, what did you do? Squirtle eliminating himself as well, and Jigglypuff gets the point for it, ironically. Ivysaur is gonna come take over for Pokemon Trainer. Ivysaur, holy crap, Ivysaur and Ike just clearing house there. Lucas, a lot of damage on him, but he's trying to Keep his distance, keep his composure here. See if he can remain active in this contest. We've okay, taken a bit of damage. Ivy Sword also. Ike trying to do a number with that sword. Ike, what a performance we had from him in the last tournament. Eliminating both Mario and Sonic one after the other. The two Nintendo icons. Ike himself trying to become an icon. He might have a feud with Mario and Sonic here. Another star, holy crap. Ivy Sword gets this one, man. Pokemon trainer must have trained these guys to get that star. Lucas finally goes out and Jigglypuff gets the point. I think Jigglypuff has a good lead right now, especially with the Pokeball and Final Smash Ball in hand. Gonna go for the Final Smash first. Here we go. And there goes Ivysaur. Or, no, yeah, there goes Ike, rather. Ivysaur gets the point for it. Ivysaur is the current leader. In traditional Pokemon Stadium style, we can see the leader on the scoreboard in the back. Kind of a laid-back match almost at the end here. I don't think anyone wants to make a mistake. Jigglypuff going out. Final. Lucas got the point, but is that enough to take out Jigglypuff's lead? Oh, it is! Ivy Store wins! Let me guess the other guy. Oh, wow. Lucas and Jigglypuff tied for second by one point! That final exchange put Pokemon Trainer over the top, and I think that's the first match Pokemon Trainer has won. I could be wrong, but... Oh, man, there he is. Who will be facing him? It's going to be one of these guys. It's going to be Falco, Wario, Donkey Kong, and Samus. I feel like we've had this match before. Maybe two or three of them together, but... Let's see. I know for sure Wario and Falco have fought together before. Ooh, Elden Bridge. And we're going to get some traditional Zelda theme music in the back as these guys duke it out. Falco the only one with damage right now. Jumping around, scoping out the competition. 
Okay, we're all about even now. There's a metal box. Samus walks over it for some reason. These guys are very picky about what items they want, it seems. One would think they just take all the items. Wario and Falco in a bit of trouble. There's a box on the left. That metal box is still waiting for you guys on the right. Oh, imagine Donkey Kong with the metal box. Donkey Kong smashing Falco in the face there. Has that capsule charging up the punch? It's an apple, it looked like. Oh, it's this trophy. Falco has it. Oh, it's um, it's something from Metroid. I know that much. Wario <laughs> eliminating Falco. Oh, people are going to give me crap for not knowing what that is. Oh, no. A lot of crap running around this bridge. I don't know why they'd sanction this. Falco eliminating Samus also a couple seconds back. Samus hanging on for dear life. Now she's going off. Oh, wow, that box. I thought it was going to hit her. Don uh, Donkey Kong eliminates Wario. Falco blasting that soccer ball. I don't think that's going to do it, but he does have the beam sword. Beam sword and blast are dangerous combination. He can pretty much do what he wants. Samus charging up the attack on the right there, kind of being sneaky. Here comes the Twilight Portal, gonna repair the bridge. I'm sure Minda's pleased about having to do this every few minutes. Wario eliminates Donkey Kong, exchanging that point back. No idea who's in the lead right now. It might be a three-way tie. Possibly four-way tie. Wario's motorcycle hanging out there. Falco chooses not to make use out of it, though. Instead, bringing the Hazy Mist into play. Samus charging up again, trying to be sneaky. Donkey Kong with a beam sword. Matt, I don't want to see him in an alley with the beam sword. He's getting out of here. Ten seconds left. Oh, Falco eliminates Wario. That might be enough to put Falco back in the running here. Falco got screwed. I was like, oh no, Wario taking that point right back. Who the heck has the win here? Wario's got it. Oh no. Wario sneaking his way into the semifinals. Wow, another slim victory over Donkey Kong and Falco. Falco's got to be heartbroken right now. Since that tournament that had technical issues, he has not been able... Oh, look at this. He has not been able to get back in the fray. Luigi, Mario, Captain Falcon, and the Ice Climbers. I can't wait for this one. Let's get right into it. See what these guys can do against each other. Luigi tried to help Mario by avenging his loss to Sonic in the previous tournament, but didn't quite manage to get away with it. Sonic walked away with the whole thing. Yeah, one of my favorite stages from Melee right here. Here come the cars. Gonna bash Mario. Mario manages to avoid it. That drugstore getting taken out. As is Captain Falcon. He manages to get back in the middle, though. Oh, there's a bomb. I don't see who has it. I think Luigi has it. Mario might still... No? It's there somewhere. Just wait for the explosion that engulfs all four. Spike ball on the left, probably not going to do anyone much good. This car might, though. Oh, no, Captain Falcon narrowly avoided that. I think one of the ice climbers got hit. Oh, look, a heart container. Mario snatches it. Falcon punch hits nothing. Poor Captain Falcon, I think he was trying to attack traffic. Oh, there goes Nana. Is she going to... Nope. Mario and Luigi, dangerous game here on the left. Getting back to the middle, party ball, final smash! Captain Falcon going right after, throwing that super scope away. Kind of floating away from him, he might not want to go for the risk. He's got it! Is he going to summon up the F-Zero? Oh no, what happened? Captain Falcon, Mario eliminated him. The final smash ball is null and void. That's the first time we've seen something like that happen. Hearing some st oh, that's the doorbell. Why? Don't care. Oh! That bumper takes Mario right out. Captain Falcon getting that point. Oh! And Mario getting the point from the Ice Climbers. A lot of... A lot of exchanging here. Close up that window. Ice Climbers, party ball in play. About a few seconds here, Luigi snatching up all those healing items. Holy crap. Sorry for my getting distracted. A bomb went off on the left. Who even got it? Mario did. Mario avenging his loss. Again, by a slim one-point victory between two competitors. Luigi in the back there. Luigi did not manage to stay up to par with his performance from the last tournament.
Ooh. Look at this. We have Pit, Link, Mr. Game Watch, and King DDD. Man, I feel like I'm fighting Mr. Game Watch every other match here. But I am fighting Kajido's King DDD. Yeah, this time victory is mine, Zellers. We'll see about that. All right, let's go. Luigi's Mansion. All right, haven't played on this in a long time. Let's see what we can do. Mr. Game Watch, get the crap out of here. I don't want none of your stuff. We're, we're already bringing the place down. Fantastic. If only it was this easy in the game, right? Check that, Mr. Game Watch. I don't want none of your crap. I want so little of it that I'm willing to use improper grammar to describe it. Oh! That's right, he's going for the nine. Oh, now he's got me. Um, smash buttons and make loud noises. Okay, that's right, let's get serious. Bam! Yeah, clean house! Pit, well, Pit got away from that one. So get one to bring this trampoline over here. Ooh! Taking a lot of damage. Haha! <laughs> Scavenger Pit got me that second time, but got a cliff hang here. Ah, I gotta get on that middle side of the mansion. Okay. Oh no, cousin! Dang it, cousin! No. King DDD eliminates me. Oh, okay, get the heck out of there! Holy crap! We actually had a bomb in which all four competitors were involved. Guess we had it on the map last time. I never knew the pronunciation of that map. If it was own it or won it. Ah, could managing to survive my attack there. What the hell? Weird camera change. Look at that thing, I'm guessing. See. What are we doing here? What are we doing with this thing? I can't tell where I am. Oh no! I keep going to the right. I think that's an assist trophy. He's posing for the camera. That's his special power is to pose for the camera and screw everyone else up. How long does this last? Why is this still going? I, I'm eliminated by Game & Watch. I, I'm really not sure what's going on. That's finally done. That seems like a very obnoxious assist trophy. Wait, do I have to try? I have to try for a slash! I didn't even see when I got that, but Mr. Game Watch is out of here! See if I can get one of those points back. Oh no, he's got the hammer. Oh, I got the point off. Hit. Oh, I gotta keep that final smash away from him, dang it! Oh no! Whoa, Pit barely managing to miss. Oh crap, what? Mr. Game & Watch won! Oh, wow, he dominated. Well, crap. Link is out of the running for champion of champions, it seems. Dang! I thought I was doing pretty good at the end there. I thought it was between uh, Pit and myself. But no, evidently not. Mr. Game & Watch walking away with that one. Ah, Mr. Game & Watch. Looks like he's gonna be my new rival. Yoshi, Diddy Kong, Rob, and Peach, let's go! Let's see if Rob can have any more luck than what he's had lately. He also had quite some unfortunate incidents in the tournament that was lost. Oh, one of my favorite maps on this game. Here we go. To Porky's theme. Let's have at it. Force Side was one of my favorite maps from Melee as well. I forget what the name of this one is, but... Oh, Yoshi! What? Yoshi, you did it again! You did that exact same thing in the last tournament, you just fell off the ledge! Except this time he didn't have a hammer. Nobody's picking up the point for that one, but now Yoshi has to make up some lost ground. Odd number of points in play here, finally. Instead of an even number, kind of smash ball, Lumen. Just looming. Rob, Diddy Kong picks up the point. Well, now Diddy Kong's got a very good lead. If Peach screws up, we might as well hand this thing to Diddy Kong. Final smash by Yoshi! We've seen how devastating this can be. Actually, no, we haven't. That was the lost tournament. Never mind. <laughs> I've seen how devastating this can be. Peach! Peach in trouble, Yoshi. Looks like it might have a soft spot for Peach there. Didn't these two compete together in the, in the last tournament as well? Yoshi getting a point off Diddy Kong. What, what are people doing outside? This is like massively distracting. No idea what's going on. People are making noise though. Not sure if it's important or not, and I'm supposed to be paying attention to what, but I don't know. I see a piece of the Dragoon, that's what I see. And I also see the Diddy Kong has it. It's kind of hanging. Oh, no, 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 Peach! Oh, Paracel's not enough this time, Peach, but who gets the point? Diddy Kong? No, Yoshi does. 
Oh, Yoshi betraying Peach. Oh crap, look out for that thing. I haven't played her a spawn, so I don't know what it is, but it'll do a hundred damage. If it gets its hands on you. Pretty much in instantly devastating. Nobody even wants the piece of the Dragoon. It's unspawning. Oh wow. Nobody even went after it. Wow. Someone was, uh, Diddy Kong was about to fall there. Who has it even? Yoshi's got it. Holy crap. Another one point win. Oh, Diddy Kong, so close. All right, before we get to this next match, let me pause here and hopefully remember to edit this out. Okay, let's proceed. Wolf, Olimar, Zelda, and Kirby. Oh, Kirby, can you do it? Can you do it? And this is Olimar's debut on screen. Oh, what the heck is this? I don't even know what this is. I guess we're fighting on this, though. All right, let's check it out. Interest interesting stage. I honestly can't say I've seen this before. There you go. Kirby has the power. Wolf burning with that fire flower there. Zelda doing her best to avoid. Oh, Din's fire! Taking out Wolf for a bit, but not enough damage to send him flying. Not enough. Oh, look at this. All four of them on this small platform here. There's no way that can be good. Oh, no! Warp Star! Can Kirby get the Warp Star? Nobody's been eliminated yet. Very laid-back match right here on what, whatever the crap this place is. Looks kind of trippy, that's for sure. Everyone trying to be careful here. Now they're all at such high damage, they don't even want to encounter each other. Zelda trying to do some long range there. Not doing it too... Oh, no! There she goes. Wolf's going to get all those points. Wolf might have just won this thing. Unless someone can eliminate him and drag him into sudden death. It's gonna have to be Kirby. Kirby, you have to eliminate Wolf. Otherwise, your dreams of regaining that title are over. Oh no! Wolf eliminating Kirby instead. Well, crap. Well, now they've all got to eliminate Wolf. But it's not going to be enough. Wolf is going to sneak away with this one. Everyone caught off guard by this stage. As was I, Zelda gets the point at the end, but it's not enough. Wolf just has too many. Wolf just has too many. Zelda getting herself second place though, which is nice. As did Olimar. Oh no, Wolf one by one. I guess there was a fall there that I did not see. Well, there you go. Wolf going on to the next round. Speaking of the next round, it is time. Yeah, Falco and Kirby not getting back. Well, that's okay. And it's that kind of tournament where the semifinals are going to be one-on-one -on -one bouts. So let's do it. Lucario versus Snake is our first match. Ah, oh, they're on the Mario circuit, it seems. We see some Mario Kart here, traditional style. Oh, Snake ambushing Lucario with that missile. Almost sending him into those shysters. Pokeball. Lucario summoning one of his buddies. There goes that thing. I don't know what it is, but I know it probably involves him Snorlax. Our strike does major damage to Snake. Holy crap. Now we can just see a lot more conservatism in the battles here. Because they don't have to worry about two other guys suddenly ambushing them. Taking them out. Super Mushroom? Or is it Tiny, maybe? Don't know. Missile nails Lucario again. Is Snake going to take a chance? He is into Super Mushroom. Here we go. Oh, no, but that just means he's, he's mincemeat for those cars. But he manages to stay up. You know, Lucario has a distinct advantage, I would think. One good shot and he's out of here. Snake's got to get back up on the top, which he does. Aura Sphere fully charged. One good shot and Snake is gone from pretty much anywhere on this map. Oh, Snake! Wow, he survived. Lucario can't be happy about that. Who's going to get that star? Nobody. Lucario doesn't need it. He doesn't want to do it. He just wants to fight it out one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Snake running into that bomb, though. Maybe that mine. Not sure what it was. Going after Lucario with the fan. Takes him out with the big kick, but no, Lucario stays in. Very sound match. Avoids the grenade. 
Here's a barrel. Did that one get him? No, another big shot that does not eliminate. They want the bunny hood on this level? Probably not. Snake rolling out of the way, trying to trick up Lucario. Lucario's taking the bunny hood. Mortar, nope, nothing. Finally abandons the fan. Nope, takes it. Metal box. Snake's got the metal box. Now he has the advantage. He can kind of get closer to the action. Final smash ball. Holy crap. Are we going to the sudden death? Not a single fall. Can anyone get that last second elimination for the win? Three seconds. Two, one. Final smash. No, not enough time. Here we go. Who's going to get it? Is Snake going to take advantage? Reap the benefits. Yes. Yes, he is. He had the box. Throwing that box at Lucario. Snake picking up the victory in final sudden death. I don't know why I said final. I, I guess we're getting ding dong door ditched or something, so I don't know. I'm like, Holy crap, Pokemon Ma uh, Trainer versus Wario. I'm sure this one will be interesting. I don't think I've ever seen these two go on in one before. Oh, and it's on, uh, it's on Pitch Planet. Okay. The clouds here. Oh, I love, that. I love that temple in the background. Oh, start with Char. Oh, crap. Wario eating Charizard. Never thought I'd say that as a sentence, but there, there you go. Charizard has yet to do any damage. Wario might actually be too fast for Charizard here, which is very surprising to me. I didn't think Wario was that fast. Well, I guess to play all those mini games, he has to be in pretty, pretty good shape. Oh, hey, a home run bat. We haven't seen one of those in a long time. Going for the home run! Oh, it looks like he had it, but no, Charizard narrowly avoiding two attacks with it. Finally doing some damage to Wario here, bro. Busting up the platform for the clouds. Charizard with the home run bat. There's something I never thought I'd see. Let's see if he makes use out of it. So far, advantage definitely to Wario. Charizard not able to do much damage here. Oh, and a Pokeball. Wario gonna use his own Pokemon here. I have no idea what that is. I don't even know what it evolves into. Unless it's Ty Tyranitar or something? I don't know. There goes Charizard. Who's Pokemon Master going to try this time? Trainer. Squirtle. But Wario has a hammer. Are you kidding me? Wario can't quite get over there, though. Squirtle with the home run bat. Maybe he'll have better luck than Charizard. Even it up. Except Squirtle's got to get... Oh, wait. Hammer. Squirtle going to abandon the bat. He is. Here we go. Can he get the shot? Oh, he jumps a little bit too far. What the heck is doing? Almost set off that explosion. Wario trying to get out of dodge. Oh! Trick Squirtle into exploding that box. Final smash ball. Could this be what Squirtle needs? Oh, man. Wario. Wario dominating the Pokemon. There's no way. He's got his final smash. There's not enough time. Super Wario is going to win this one. Oh, man. Just a clean sweep for Wario there against the Pokemon Wario. trainer. Woo! Tough loss. Okay. I lost, right? Yeah, I lost. Oh, wow. Mario versus my new rival, Mr. Game & Watch. Come on, Mario. Kick the living crap out of him and get to the finals. Hey! We're in Wind Waker. Okay, let's see what Mario and Mr. Game & Watch can do. Two video gaming icons. Mr. Game & Watch not so much anymore, but longevity. Oh, what the heck? Mario getting launched almost out of the way. Picks up... Oh, no, he didn't get his star. He got dazed instead. Mr. Game & Watch with crafty tricks. Some of them by random sheer luck. Oh, no. There's a tornado. There's a warp star on the right there. I don't know if anyone's noticed it on the King of the Red Lines. They're going for a ride that I'm sure Donkey Kong would be proud of. So we saw Rainbow Ride there for a minute, too. Oh, no. Mario getting burned there for a bit. Here's the final smash ball. Mario giving him a good shot. Mr. Game & Watch has it. Oh, no! Turned into a giant octopus. What can Mario do against this? He run into it. He manages to avoid getting fallen. Oh, and he jumps into the deciding fall. 
Mario has to do something to fight back against Mr. Game & Watch's antics here. Manages to hit him with the jump attack. Super scope. That might help Mario. But now he's going to try and use that sphere instead. Oh, an 8. Very close to a 9. And I'm sure if he got hit with the 9 at that point, a little close to the edge, don't know what would have happened. And a catapult managing to miss Mario this time. Final smash! Can Mario get this final smash ball? Hammer! He's got the hammer! He takes control! It's a tie so far, but he takes control. Can you get that final smash? Mario, you've got to get that final smash ball. Don't let Mr. Game & Watch trick you. Uh-oh. Five seconds. Can Mario last? Two seconds left. One. He's going to do it. Sudden death time. Here we go. Who's going to get the quick attack? Mario going for it. Mr. Game & Watch. No, he's got him trapped. Going for the big attack. Oh, and dang it, Mr. Game & Watch. That sneaky, sneaky prick winning. Mr. Game & Watch. Oh boy, Mario not able to win this tournament either, could not join Sonic in the Champion of Champions bout. Alright, will Wolf join the finals or will Yoshi? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Oh, an interesting stage for these two to be on. Let's see how much damage they can do. Playing it a bit conservative, but Wolf trying to get right in there. Maybe Yoshi was even suckering him in. There we go. Yoshi has the lead now. Oh, he just lost it. Of course, we're all familiar with the antics of the F Zero courses. Uh oh. Dangerous spot for these two guys to be in. They have to be careful where those cars could be coming from. Wolf trying to maybe chase Yoshi off the ledge with that ray gun. Oh no, Yoshi in trouble. Wolf with a nice combo, but went a little too far there. He he might go out here. They both... Oh, Wolf! No! Yeah, no? Is he going to survive? He is, but no! That assist trophy gave Yoshi the edge. He needed to eliminate Wolf right off. Oh, no. And now Yoshi is the final smash. Wolf trying to escape harm's way here. Might be doing some damage to himself in the same instance. Oh, he's trapped. No, he jumps over. Yoshi and escapes. Oh, but he falls. Yoshi has a very good lead right now. Wolf has to regroup, figure out what to do. Oh, Super Scope will do it. He got a good blast on Yoshi, but not enough damage to make him fall. Wolf, is he going to fall again? He is in a bad way, but Yoshi, I don't think Yoshi can survive this one. Oh, he will. Very slimly, though. Oh, Wolf lost that beam sword. It would have been a massive help to him getting rid of Yoshi, but not to be. Can Wolf make you... No, Yoshi avoids the capsule. Yoshi doing everything in his power to just avoid Wolf's dastardly tricks here. There's another ray gun. I think Wolf is frustrated, just kind of giving up here. Can he do it? He doesn't... You know, you don't have the time. Yoshi slipping out with the victory. Very interesting combination of characters we have going into the finals here. Can't say that this one is not open to interpretation. Oh wow, decision time. Four newcomers to the finals, I believe. We've not seen any of these four guys in the finals before. Snake, Wario, Mr. Game Watch, and Yoshi. Who will join Pikachu, Ganondorf, and Sonic in Champion of Champions? Let's find out. Another F zero course in a row. Oh, man, looks like Mr. Game Watch isn't trying to get any of his cheap nines right off the bat, but we'll see. We'll see. That crafty character. He's actually doing some damage here. Oh man, taking Wario and Mr. Game Watch out for a spin. There's a bomb on this train-like collection of cars. Uh oh, Snake's got to watch out. No, manages to narrowly avoid it, but you know, he does avoid getting trapped in that. Wario takes the point. Wario takes another point. Oh, no. Mr. Game & Watch and Snake falling out. And Wario reaping the benefits of all of it. Oh, no. 
What is gonna happen? Is Warrior gonna walk into the champion? The champion's bout? He's keeping that lead so far. Flew into the air by Snake. It's not even a word, but managing to stay in. Oh wait, there he goes. Snake gets his point back. Oh, Wario taking out Yoshi now. Wario's just being the opportunistic competitor that he needs to be in this battle. I don't think the others even realized that fall occurred. They've just been fighting each other. Mr. Game & Watch getting a 4 to 1. Nothing for him yet. I don't even think he has a fall. Little time left. Snake! Snake might actually be able to tie Wario at this point. Oh man, imagine, imagine if the finals comes down to sudden death again. Snake has to stay up. He barely does. He is in a bad way right now. He's got to survive for four more seconds. Can he do it? Go for the missile launch. Mr. Game Watch trying it again, but no. I think it's sudden death. Snake Wario. No, it's no, no. Wario. Wario had that extra point hiding somewhere. Won it by a single point. Wario is your fourth tournament champion. The champion is... Pikachu, Wario. Ganondorf, Sonic, and Wario. Two villains, two heroes. Which one of them can be the champion of champions? We'll find out in just a bit. But for now, Wario is going to be able to enjoy his victory in the fourth SSBB UDF tournament. The fifth if you count the lost one, but oh man, Kirby and Falco cannot be happy about that. Oh, hey, we got some new stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the very first Champion to Champions match. Five-minute KO fest between Pikachu, Ganondorf, Sonic, and Wario. The four winners of the four SSBB UDF tournament matches. We're going to Final Destination. You better believe it. Let's see which of these guys will be our first Champion of Champions. Highest level possible. Go at it. Wario taking the first damage. Ganondorf following in suit. Sonic and Pikachu looking pretty good so far. Pikachu takes damage, as does Sonic. Now we're all in the fray together. Here we go. Put the music for Wario there. He's not in a good way right now. Pikachu doing some damage against Sonic. Ganondorf's probably been waiting for this moment to prove that he is the best. Oh, powerful attack against Sonic. Very powerful. But nobody going out just yet. This one is probably going to get nasty in a hurry. Wario driving around on that motorbike of his. Ganondorf sending him and Sonic flying. Pikachu still in the fray. Pikachu thunder against Sonic, but... Oh, Ganondorf finally gets a fall against Wario. I'm sure he's very happy about that. Taking the first fall. Super Sonic! Super Sonic. There goes Pikachu. Sonic gets the point. Ganondorf taking out. Sonic gets another point. As there goes Wario again, Sonic taking a huge lead right now with the powers of Super Sonic and those Chaos Emeralds. But Sonic goes out. Who got the point? Wario does. Wario gets his point back. Ganondorf also not down as far, but Sonic has to start getting eliminated here. Otherwise, we're going to have our first champion of champions. Crawl in the action as they try to figure out what to do. Sonic kicking Ganondorf off the ledge. Not enough damage, though. There's a Pokeball. Ganondorf! Oh, no! There goes Pikachu getting a fall on Ganondorf. And Ganondorf must be having Vietnam flashbacks of his first match on the battlefield against Pikachu. Ganondorf, the only man in this group to be in two tournament finals. Oh, going for the Warlock Punch, but no. Pikachu denies him. Knows what kind of damage that can do. Wario getting shocked a bit. We're almost at the three minute mark here. Ganondorf throwing some hazy mist into play. And then absorbing it himself, I guess. Not sure if that's what he intended, but there you go. Wario in trouble now. Fire Flower in play. Pikachu is in trouble. Who got the point, Sonic? No, Ganondorf. Oh, Ganondorf taking some vengeance against Pikachu. I believe Sonic might still have the lead, but not now when Wario takes him out. No telling who has the lead at this point. It could be Wario or Ganondorf. Oh, Sonic getting his point back from Wario, though. He might have just taken the lead again. Final Smash Ball, Wario has it. Here comes Super Wario. Super Wario taking Ganondorf out. 
going for Pikachu now. Dragoon in play. Doing a lot of damage. Pikachu flung right into Ganondorf's clock. Sonic, oh man, he doesn't need to be any faster, but now he's got a speed advantage too. Party ball. What's inside, who knows? Pikachu narrowly avoiding elimination by Sonic there. And Ganondorf just a party ball, chucking it at Wario. Wario too short. Oh wait, there goes Sonic. Ganondorf getting a huge point there against Sonic, but now Wario, I believe, is the guy to beat. Especially when he takes Pikachu out like that. Can you imagine Wario being the first champion of champions? Getting abandoning that motorbike as soon as he sees the bomb. But Sonic might be in trouble. Who's gonna land on it? Everyone by it. Pikachu avoiding it. Ganondorf! Oh! He was bracketed by Wario, that sneaky little prick. But there goes Wario. Pikachu getting the point. Who? Oh no! Ganondorf with the dragoon! Taking Sonic out! Pikachu with the dragoon! What? Oh, Ganondorf had a tiny mushroom. I don't even know what's going on. I thought Ganondorf had the Dragoon. Thunderbolt misses. Last minute. Warlock punch! There goes Pikachu and Wario, I believe. Ganondorf just picking up two huge points. Could that Warlock punch be the deciding factor? There's a box denying the party ball there a while back, a few seconds ago. Damage is starting to stack up with that flower. There's some food. Ganondorf gonna heal up just a bit here. There goes that Sunball. Oh, combination against Sonic to eliminate him. Who the crap has the lead? It could be Ganondorf, Pikachu, maybe even Wario. Wario got another point off Ganondorf just then. One giant shot could end this whole thing. Ganondorf trying to get rid of Wario. Everyone else ganging up on him. Ganondorf trying to finish things up with Wario, but nobody letting him. Not that they realize Wario might have eliminated Ganondorf. Ganondorf trying again, but Wario stays in. Has time run out on the Warlock. Pokeball time. Ganondorf gets that point. Last five seconds. Is that enough for him to win? Who won? He did it! Ganondorf got the point and he won! How many points did he win by? One point! One point! Ganondorf wins! That final elimination in the final five seconds against Wario, Ganondorf is your champion of champions. Holy crap, what a series. Oh man, look at all those KOs and those self-destructs. Chaos ensuing with final smash balls everywhere. Ganondorf using that Warlock Punch to bring him a couple eliminations towards the end. And that final smash against Wario. That final hit in the last five seconds. Oh, you might, you might want to figure Ganondorf rubbing that in Pikachu's face for sure. But that's how he lost the very first tournament. It was by getting eliminated in the last five seconds. And now Ganondorf has won Champion of Champions in the last five seconds. Oh, man. Who's going to be able to bring Ganondorf off his throne? No telling. But I'll see you next time for SSBBUDF. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Hope you had some fun on my birthday. I know I did, even despite some video problems and everything. But my voice is shot, so I'm going to go do something else now. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ganondorf, champion of champions. Boy!